Yellowstone star Kevin Costner's marriage to Christine Baumgartner has come to an end after 18 years. Here's how it nearly never started, how it went, and how it ended. Back in the day, everyone thought Kevin Costner and Cindy Costner were meant to be. They were married for 16 years, had children together, and made regular appearances at events. So maybe it really was fate that Costner met model Christine Baumgartner for the first time in the 1980s. Of course, that initial meeting with Baumgartner didn't amount to much, and Costner remained with Cindy Costner for a few more years. After his divorce, Costner and Baumgartner met again on a golf course while he was preparing for his 1996 film Tin Cup. But it still wasn't their time, as Costner went on to date Bridget Rooney instead and have a child with her. It wasn't until Costner ended his relationship with Rooney that he and Baumgartner officially got together in 1998. Baumgartner's relationship with Kevin Costner was initially great. However, there was also a sore spot for the couple. While Costner was already a father to four children with two other women, Christine Baumgartner had yet to have any. Baumgartner wanted children, and after dating Costner for some time, she finally drew a line in the sand. In speaking with Parade, Costner explained, She said, I'm going to wait for you, but not long. When you come to your senses, come back to me. And I did. In 2020, Costner spoke with Extra about how he eventually came around to the idea of having children again. It took me about six years to get there. And finally, there came a moment where maybe this doesn't go forward because I thought to myself, you know, I could be divorced again, but what I couldn't be is divorced again with children. That crushed me. Costner also said that while making the decision to have more children, he asked himself, are you gonna miss life? Are you gonna miss love because you're afraid? And the answer finally came back, I'm not gonna lose her because I'm gonna be afraid. Costner ultimately went all in with Baumgartner. In June of 2003, Costner popped the big question, and needless to say, Christine Baumgartner said yes. The couple's wedding took place in September of 2004 on Costner's ranch in Aspen, Colorado. The event was as elaborate as it was beautiful, with Costner arriving in a horse-drawn carriage and Baumgartner arriving in a vintage pickup truck. They said their vows in a meadow among 320 guests, some of whom included Tim Allen, Bruce Willis, and Don Johnson. While speaking with In Style about the wedding venue, Baumgartner said, One of our common bonds is that we are both big outdoors people. After they said their I do's, the newlyweds went for a canoe ride. Baumgartner commented that her wedding dress, designed by Monique Lulier, was a concern for some when they set off on their boat adventure. She told the outlet, People worried about my dress, but it was so romantic. Kevin paddled me into a private world. I'm Jerry Penicoli with the new Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Costner. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> After a few years of marriage, Kevin Costner and Christine Baumgartner welcomed their first child together. Caden Wyatt Costner was born on May 6, 2007, and not long after, the couple had two more children. Hayes Logan Costner was born on February 12, 2009. Who is this handsome young man? This is Hayes. Hi, Hayes. This is my son. So nice to meet you. Then, on June 2, 2010, Grace Avery Costner rounded out the family of five. While speaking with people in 2007, Costner joked about something he'd learned to do in his many years of parenting. The actor told the outlet, I can fake like I'm asleep longer so I don't have to do as many diapers. He's also shared concerns about being an older father, saying he hopes he'll have as much energy for his youngest kids as he did for his oldest ones. Luckily, he had a wife many years his junior, so Baumgartner was likely able to keep up where Costner couldn't. The family of five resided in Santa Barbara, California, with a beautiful view of the ocean. However, Costner still had to take time away to film Yellowstone. In addition to raising three kids, Christine Baumgartner also owns her own business. In a rare interview with the Denver Post in 2005, she spoke about how she became a handbag designer and business owner. Baumgartner told the newspaper, I didn't start because I loved handbags. I started because I was missing something. I use a computer quite a bit and travel a lot. I looked for a computer bag, and they functioned, but I didn't find anything that was right for me. She also admitted that Kevin Costner helped her with her business, saying, when I came up with some samples, I showed them to Kevin, and he said they were beautiful and amazing. He told me I should take it to the next step, and he'd help me. Baumgartner launched her business, Cat Bag Couture, with a friend in 2004. Unfortunately, her friend had other commitments to see to, so Baumgartner hired a few helping hands and worked to build the company up. She eventually expanded the company and began selling chic purses in addition to computer bags. In what must have been a career milestone for her, some of Baumgartner's Cat Bag Couture designs were even featured on Desperate Housewives. Whether it's the Oscars or the SAG Awards, Kevin Costner always made sure to bring Christine Baumgartner with him to the red carpet. Of course, interviewers are always eager to catch Costner for a quick soundbite, but on occasion, they've directed the mic towards Baumgartner. At the Screen Actors Guild Awards in 2015, an interviewer for Black Tree TV asked Baumgartner what it was like to live with Costner. Baumgartner responded, 
That's a big question. I can't tell you the best part. At the Oscars in 2022, Costner and Baumgartner strutted their matching evening wear. Costner was in a black tuxedo and white shirt, and Baumgartner wore a gorgeous, strapless black and white gown. The couple looked happy and loved up, with Costner preparing to present at the show, and Baumgartner supportively by his side. The quarantine period due to the COVID-19 pandemic was pretty rough for most people, but probably less so for the many celebrities who were able to stay at home in their expensive houses. Although Kevin Costner and Christine Baumgartner haven't said much about how they spent their days indoors, it's not far-fetched to assume that it was at least somewhat luxurious. Some couples didn't last the shock of suddenly being forced to spend every waking moment together during the pandemic. However, Costner said that his and Baumgartner's marriage actually became stronger during this time period. Speaking to People in 2020, Costner said, "...our partnership has really come into focus about what we do for each other and how we deal with our family." Costner added that the family unit also grew during quarantine. The actor told the outlet, "...our house is like a river. You've just got to get into the flow of it. And whatever you thought it was going to be, maybe it still can. But it's going to have to work with what the day brings." It's no secret that Kevin Costner's career had a sudden resurgence with the success of Yellowstone, but despite the extra income and success the show has brought the Academy Award winner, Christine Baumgartner may have given him an ultimatum about Yellowstone. Rumors about Costner's future with the show began appearing when he tightened his shooting schedule, thus leaving him less time to play the role of John Dutton. Furthermore, there are several spin-offs of Yellowstone in the works, with talks of A-listers joining the cast. This has also sparked speculation as to whether Costner will stay on. I have other things that I want to do. However, all these rumors could simply be that. Rumors. A spokesperson representing the Paramount Network told Variety, "...we have no news to report. Kevin Costner is a big part of Yellowstone, and we hope that's the case for a long time to come." However, a source told Radar Online that Baumgartner may have asked him to pull out of the show. The source said to the outlet, "...it's really knocked a hole in their family life. She wants a firm commitment this is his last season, or he might have to hit the dusty trail." Costner and Baumgartner have yet to comment on the source's claims, but seeing as the actor is also working on a movie in addition to shooting Yellowstone, it wouldn't be surprising if she wanted him home more often. It has been a, a good ride so far. We'll see where it goes. Kevin Costner is nearly 20 years Christine Baumgartner senior, and they withstood 18 years of marriage. They had their ups and downs, but Costner often gushed over his beautiful wife. Kevin. I kind of feel this is the most beautiful girl. In 2019, Costner sat down with The Mirror to talk about Baumgartner. He told the outlet that he doesn't let his age affect their relationship or the relationship with his children. Costner went on to add, "...I try to stay relevant because I have three kids to play with. I play hard, and I try to take care of myself. I have a beautiful wife, and I don't want her to look anywhere else. I want to be something for her. I want to stay interested in life." Costner shared another pearl of wisdom from his marriage when he spoke with Parade, saying, the key to making a marriage work is the ability to say you're sorry. I know that sounds so simple. If you're willing to tell somebody that you love them, are you also willing to say you're sorry? You need to, even when you think you're in the right." On May 2, 2023, Baumgartner filed for divorce from Costner after 18 years of marriage. Costner's rep told TMZ, "...it is with great sadness that circumstances beyond his control have transpired, which have resulted in Mr. Costner having to participate in a dissolution of marriage action. We ask that his, Christine's, and their children's privacy be respected as they navigate this difficult time." Baumgartner and Costner plan on seeking joint custody of their children, TMZ confirmed. The publication also noted that Baumgartner isn't seeking spousal support, but will likely receive financial compensation from her and Costner's prenuptial agreement. News of the couple's divorce came on the heels of the aforementioned reports that Baumgartner wanted Costner to quit his role in Yellowstone.